Hi everyone, I'm Murray Brown. I'm Connor Brown. And we're going to chat to you about family devotions. Just to start off with, uh, just to mention two quick reasons why. Why would we do family devotions? The first is so that we can come to understand who God is and what He's really like, which obviously includes His amazing love for us. If we would try to learn that from just looking at the world, it would be very difficult for us to understand what God is really like. The second reason why is that as parents, and especially as Christian parents, we would want to invest in the future of our children. And yes, we could invest in their short-term future, and that would be great. But if we neglected their eternal future, as parents, we would have failed. Yeah. And just to give you three practical things that I think are important for you to remember when you have family devotions. The first thing is to use that time to make the Bible accessible for your kids. Make sure they have their own Bible or they're sitting with you as you page through so they can become familiar with the Bible. There's so many tools and programs and projects that you could use, but they kind of disconnect us from the Bible. And if your kids can fall in love with the Word of God, it's one of the best gifts you could ever give them. The second thing is to use the time to equip them to be able to study the Bible for themselves. That's why when we have family devotions, I normally just take the boys through the way I have my own personal devotions, which is a simple list of questions that my mom actually taught me. The way you would teach your kids to boil an egg or prepare a physical meal for themselves, we also need to teach them to prepare a spiritual meal for themselves. The last thing I think is important is that we teach our kids how to discern what God is saying and apply it to their lives. We have a saying here at home, which is that truth is God's opinion about everything. Now, our kids in TV and at school and in music, they get exposed to all kinds of different versions of the truth and worldviews that are not necessarily biblical. And that's why our family devotion time should be practical and relevant. So our kids can take what they learn about themselves and what they learn about God, and it becomes fuel for their prayers it drives their actions, and it shapes the way they think. Don't be intimidated by having family devotions, and don't underestimate your kids. And remember that God is the one who makes the seeds grow, but it's still up to us to sow the seeds. For sure. So I think that's a great way to end this clip off, is to, is to identify the, the active ingredient. Uh, the active ingredient in family devotional time is not mom's creativity or dad's enthusiasm. It's, it's the amazing power of God by the work of His Holy Spirit in the lives of our children. He's trustworthy. And as we call out to Him in prayer and as we trust Him, um, he, he will show Himself to us and He'll bless us with amazing revelation knowledge. Thanks, everyone. Ciao.